Donald Trump published nearly 40 posts about his accuser, E. Jean Carroll, in the span of 20 minutes ahead of his defamation trial this week, RadarOnline.com can report. In an interesting development to come just hours before Trump's defamation trial was set to kick off again in Manhattan on Thursday, the embattled ex-president took to Truth Social on Wednesday night to publish a whopping 37 posts about his sexual assault accuser. According to one post shared by Trump on Wednesday night, Carol once liked a Facebook post that said she should be on The Apprentice. The former president also shared several tweets Carol published roughly 10 years ago. There is no such thing as a S, Carol tweeted in June 2014 only sexual geniuses. Big D, energy, Obama's got it, she wrote in another. The ex-president also posted part of a Vanity Fair interview Carol gave in June 2019 involving her sexually harassing former Fox News CEO Roger Ailes. Oh, I did it, Carol told the outlet in 2019. Every day I had a chance. I call him the pearl of his sex. Right on the air. I roll up my trouser legs. I would wait for the camera to come over. Then I would slowly pull up the right and then the left trouser leg, she continued. It would say Roger Ailes. It never stopped, Carol said at the time. I'd ask him to twirl for me. I adored him. Trump ultimately concluded his onslaught of truth social posts by ranting about the ongoing defamation proceedings against him. He demanded that the prosecutors in the case end this witch hunt now before once again accusing Carol of lying about the alleged sexual assault. Until the filing of this ridiculous lawsuit against me, I knew nothing about this woman, never heard of her, never touched her, had nothing to do with her, Trump wrote on Wednesday night. I'm heading back to New York City for a trial based on false accusations from perhaps decades ago, he added. The woman has no idea when. As RadarOnline.com previously reported, Trump was found liable in May 2023 of defaming and sexually assaulting Carol in connection to an incident that transpired in a Manhattan department store in the mid-1990s. Carol was awarded $5 million in damages for the suspected defamation and sexual assault, and she recently sued the ex-president again after he continued to make disparaging comments about her. This second defamation trial was postponed for three days on Monday after one of the nine jurors tested positive for COVID-19. The proceedings are scheduled to pick back up on Thursday, and there are rumors that Trump may testify in connection to the case once the trial resumes.